Prior to 1917, Russia was ruled by a Tsar. His poor decision making left Russia in ruin. This meant it was time for a change. The people were starving because of the lack of food as a result of the war. Economically, the people were poor because the aggressive government took all their money, food, and land, and the government did not acknowledge the people's decisions. That means that the Tsar made all decisions, even the ones that the people did not approve of. Then came 1917 when the Tsar steps down and Russia needed a new economic system. The possible economic systems were socialism, capitalism, and communism. In communism, the government takes all of the people's money and land and distributes it evenly. This means everyone is equal and there are no classes. Communism is like education where everyone attends the same public school. In socialism, the government takes all of the people's money and land and distributes it based on people's specific needs. That means that there are social classes, but the gaps are reduced. Socialism is like education where everyone goes to the same school, but the people who need it more are given better schooling. In capitalism, people have no limits to their wealth and people can privately own property. This results in social classes and a large gap between them. Capitalism is like education where the rich can attend private school, but the poor must attend public school. My partner and I selected socialism as the economic system that is best for the world in the year 17 and the 1900s. Two economic systems we did not choose are capitalism, communism, and also you. We did not choose capitalism for the best economic system for Russia during 1917 because the Tsar left much of Russia very poor. This means the poor would stay poor and uneducated and wouldn't be able to get better. This would also create tension between the classes because during the revolutions, the poor stole from the rich. The same would happen during capitalism. We also didn't choose communism for an economic system because in communism, everyone is paid the same regardless of their job or worth ethic. This means they won't be motivated to do better because they wouldn't be rewarded for doing so or punished for doing worse. In communism, people also don't have a say in their government. This was the same when they were ruled by a Tsar and one of the reasons they revolted in the first place. Socialism is good because it gives poor people a chance and they can make it in life and it also reduces the gap between the poor and the rich. Because of the chance they are given, they can make it in life and they'll feel better about where they are despite their financial standings. They also create less tension between the social classes because in socialism, everybody wins.